Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun is back on Broadway. The new production stars Oscar and Tony winner Denzel Washington as a young man trying to make it in Chicago's tough South Side. We're here in rehearsal to get a closer look at the new production. Ten years ago, you brought A Raisin in the Sun to Broadway. Why did you want to bring the younger family back to Broadway again? Because Lorraine Hansberry's Raisin in the Sun is the the piece of literature, the, the play, the story that keeps on giving. It feels so authentic. It just feels so true. It feels all the voices in the play, they just come from a place of authenticity and truth. Lorraine Hansberry had like a main line to the truth. Um, so her characters are speaking words that I think people recognize within themselves. You've got Sidney Poitier, you've got P. Diddy, and now you. Why did you want to take on the role of Walter Lee? Well, you know, I mean, any role you do, most roles you do, there are many who have done it before you. So that, that, that just comes with the territory. I think what attracted both of them, probably the same things that attracted me, a great play, and a great playwright, and a great part. So, uh, you know, the, the, the opportunity to in interpret it uh, the way I see it is, is uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't pass up. Playing Denzel Washington's son, that is a pretty cool thing to be doing. Tell me about that. Well, he's an, he's an amazing actor. I mean, I love his work. He's such a great person, too. And, you know, playing his son, it's, it's really cool playing off of him and, you know, being in the same room with him. Tell me about this family. Tell me about the Youngers. Who are they? Well, the Youngers are a family in Chicago, an African-American family who are really just status quo Americans. You know, they're like your regular run-of-the-mill 50s family. Really, really loving uh, uh, group of people, family people, really just, you know, trying to make it, trying to get that American dream, Walter especially, you know, and um, there's so much love in the house, even though they, they face so many uh, hurdles and, and, uh, and, and problems, they, they have so much love, they never forget that love that they have. It's about uh, pursuing your dreams and expect the obstacles. But what are you going to do once you hit that wall? You know, you're going to go over it, through it, around it. Um, it's just about having dreams and, and refusing to let the obstacles get in the way. So last time you were on Broadway, you won a Tony Award. So uh, how does it feel to be back now? If, you know, it feels good. Like I said, the, 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 the rehearsal process for me is some of the most, you know, exciting days, you know, just discovery and figuring out what, what you're doing. This is your Broadway acting debut. How does that feel? Yes, it f I'm in denial about how terrifying and completely unqualified I am to do that. I hope I can talk loud enough. <laughs> it has to be included in the top five best American plays. So if all the other uh, American plays, Death of a Salesman, Streetcar, Moon for the Misbegotten, if they have been done every four or five years, surely 10 years justifies the time we should revisit a Raisin in the Sun. I think it's going to be a very passionate Raisin in the Sun. I, I think it's going to be pretty no holds barred. Uh, and I think that just reading L Lorraine's autobiography, that that's what she wanted. She wanted fireworks. Um, and hopefully that's what you'll get.